What if Europe can grow everything we need from nature itself? Plastics, fibers, textiles, chemicals, even the packaging around everyday products made sustainably, locally, and without harming the planet. Actually, that has already started. It's called the bioeconomy. So let's see what an expert has to say about this. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Could you tell us a bit more about your project here? What you see here are industrial chicory plants. It contains a lot of healthy products and compounds. It contains bitterness compounds to use these as bioinsecticides. So why are these bio products more advantageous? We can offer farmers an alternative so they still can do crop protection on their crops. It helps with the strategy in Europe to reduce pesticide use. This is an economy powered by renewable biological resources. Plants, algae, forests, microbes, even waste. Agri-food waste is disposed in landfilling. We want to create higher added value by developing new processes that make better use of this waste. For example, is the use of the stalks of sunflower plants. Currently, this remains on the field, but there are a lot of nice fibers in it. So we try to set up a process that results in the extraction of the fiber, and then this can be used to develop bio-based fabrics, like some examples over here. It means smarter farming through bio-based fertilizers, economic growth, greener industries through reinventing the materials used in our clothes, our cosmetics, and our packaging, or when building our homes, and new jobs in towns and rural areas all across Europe. In 2023, for example, the EU bioeconomy has already generated 863 billion euros, which represents around 5% of the EU's GDP, and supported over 17 million jobs. Creating jobs and economic growth to Europe, but also we are today dependent on a lot of other regions when it comes to a lot of materials, which we actually can make from our own nature. And so it's a win-win for that, but it'll also be a win for the rural areas, farmers, that also can create an income. The world is changing fast. Climate change, global competition for resources, and a growing need for sustainable, resilient supply chains. And Europe has something powerful to offer. The science, the land, the diversity of innovators, and the political ambition and experience to lead. With the bioeconomy strategy, Europe is supporting sustainable farmers and foresters, boosting bio-based industries, for example, the ones using clean chemicals, funding world-leading research from algae farms to synthetic biology, turning waste into high-value products, from sawdust transformed into building panels to sugar beet pulp turned into paper, this isn't an abstract policy. It's real, everyday life. In Denmark, producers turn sugarcane fiber into durable, colorful toys for children. In Italy, breweries transform beer production waste into innovative bio-based plastics. And in the Czech Republic, companies convert coffee waste into new, sustainable materials. Bioeconomy is Europe's quiet revolution, and it's accelerating. If we get this right, we won't just reach climate goals. We'll build a resilient, competitive, nature-positive Europe. Are you interested in the European bioeconomy strategy? Click the link below and don't forget to subscribe.